After Asuncion and La Paz, last but not least, the 2017 Dakar reaches a third South American capital where the finishers of this 39th edition will be congratulated. The boss, Peter Ansel, takes his 30th success, the seventh since he moved to cars, and in two wheels there is changing continuity with Britain's first victory on a Dakar, thanks to Sam Sunderland for KTM's 16th consecutive win. From Paraguay to Argentina, through Bolivia, until the end, the duel between Peter Ansel, the experienced, and Lub, the ambitious, was the main focus of this 2017 Dakar. After 8,000 kilometers of race, the two pilots had no respite until the finish in Buenos Aires. This final stage was as fought for as the others. Five minutes behind Peter at the start in Rio Cuarto this morning, Seb Lub nevertheless went for the stage victory, his fifth in this Dakar. The WRC legend crossed the line after 64 kilometers with the best time, only 19 seconds faster than Peter Ansel. It was not enough to upset the Yarki. Mr. Dakar, if worthy of his reputation once again, the former biker clinches his 11th title in cars, his 30th in all. I play with my cards and that's consistency, minimum mistakes, and it's been paying off for a long time. The recipe works. But Seb did a few big mistakes last year, this year very few mistakes. He was perfect. As in 1990, Peugeot returns with a 1-2-3. Peter Ansel, Lub and Depre confiscated the top seats. The Lion brand collected nine successes over ten stages. Daniel de Villiers Toyota looped in third place, 30 seconds behind Lub, but fifth of the GC behind Nani Roma. Mini are close to the top five with Orlando Terranova. In the bikes, the dice were thrown for the final victory. Only a huge surprise or a mechanical failure could prevent Sam Sunderland from taking the title in Buenos Aires. Leader by over a half hour this morning at the start, he just had to avoid the danger and enjoy the view on his KTM for the last time in this 2017 Dakar. And what a Dakar! Sunderland is crowned for the first time and at 27 years old, he becomes the first Briton to win a Dakar in any category. In 2012 and 2014, for his first two participations, Sunderland had been forced to quit. The biker managed to break the curse. Thanks to Sunderland's first Dakar victory, KTM sealed their 16th success in a row in the world's hardest rally raid. Hopefully we can create some English interest now because uh, so far they, they've not been reporting much, but yeah, I hope it can change. Behind the British rider, the podium is completed by his teammate Matthias Wagner of Austria and by Spain's Gerard Farasguel, who shares the stage win with Francis Adrien van Beveren. The Enduro man will be haunted by this penalty he caught from stage 11, one minute because of a speed excess. It puts him at the foot of the podium, only 48 seconds from Faris Guell. Frustrating. He must be frustrated too, Joan Barretta Bort, with the 51 minute penalty in the first week. The Honda pilot knew the victory was far from reach. However, he limited the damage, taking the fifth place of the GC 43 minutes behind Sam Sunderland. Finally, a talent emerged. In his second Dakar, Pierre-Alexandre René finished with the seventh place, very encouraging for the Husqvarna rider. Peter Ansel and Sunderland master the Paraguay-Bolivia-Argentina trilogy. Saturday's last kilometers from the heart of the Cordoba region to Buenos Aires offered stunning sceneries on the South American continent. In January 2018, the 40th edition, for now we say goodbye and thank you.